First up though, 4,000 Indians are in the dock in Kuwait. They're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, all because their employer has failed to pay them their wages. The salaries due aren't for a month or two, but a whole year. Compounding their misery is this, their visas have expired. As a result, they're now in Kuwait illegally. The company has kept their passports, tying them to Kuwait indefinitely. What's more, if caught, they may end up having to pay fines for overstaying in the country. Now, the construction company that they were employed with says that it doesn't have the funds to pay salaries. It blames the drying up of projects for the situation. In the meantime, though, these abandoned Indian workers are desperate. Some say they've even thought of ending their lives. Many others are ill but can't afford to go to hospital. They're afraid of being caught without valid visas if they seek medical assistance. For now, the companies put them up in a camp on the outskirts of the city. Some of them have taken to demonstrating outside the company's offices. They can ill afford to travel to and fro from the camp, so they're staying put. But nothing has come of these protests. However, one woman is doing what she can to help these stranded Indians. Shaheen Saeed is a social worker who's trying to bring attention to their plight. But she too is worried for their physical and mental well-being. And the woman who is fighting for the cause of these stranded Indians is joining us on the broadcast right now. Shaheen Syed is a social activist and an Indian who lives in Kuwait City. Shaheen, good evening and thanks so much for joining us uh, on the broadcast today. Can you start by telling us how exactly you came to know about the plight of uh, these workers who were stranded there in Kuwait? Of course, the Ku Kuwait government is aware of this situation. And I have spoken to one of their managers which I don't like to mention his name, but uh, as per his uh, answer, he have told me that their bank uh, account have been frozen. Us, uh, how many of uh, these Indians are stranded there and what exactly is their condition like? He is already aware of the situation and uh, like we have also tried to highlighted this issue to Indian government by uh, utilizing a social media platform like Twitter and Facebook. Exactly is this employer, Kharafi National, uh, refusing to pay the dues that are owed to these workers. Um, what exactly is going on as far as that situation goes? Uh, yes, the Indian government should uh, effectively utilize the Indian National Worker Welfare Fund in order to solve the problem arising with the, uh, between the company and the em employee.